Hi everybody, I am Teacher Joe. In this video, I will introduce the past perfect continuous tense. The past perfect continuous tense is used in a sentence to show an action that started at some time in the past and continued until a specific time in the past. Let's begin by looking at how to make affirmative or positive sentences with a past perfect continuous tense. And this is how the form looks like. We have the subject that is I, you, we, they, he, she, and it, plus two helping verbs that is had plus been plus the present participle, which is also known as the main verb plus ing and plus the rest of the sentence. Let's look at some examples. Number one, I had been reading a book for two hours before I fell asleep. In this sentence, the subject is I, plus the two helping verbs had, plus been, plus the main verb read, plus ing, or the present participle, plus the rest of the sentence. Number two, they had been watching TV all evening before they realized it was midnight. In this sentence, the subject is they, plus the two helping verbs had, plus been, plus the main verb watch, plus ing, or the present participle, and plus the rest of the sentence. To make negative sentences with a past perfect continuous tense, we put not between the two helping verbs. And this is how the form looks like. We have the subject that is I, you, we, they, he, she, and it, plus the first helping verb had, plus not, plus the second helping verb been, plus the present participle or the main verb plus ing, and plus the rest of the sentence. Let's look at some examples. Number one, Jessica had not been studying for the exam before she failed. In this sentence, the subject is Jessica, and the subjective pronoun for Jessica is she, plus the first helping verb had, plus not, plus the second helping verb been, plus the main verb study, plus ing, or the present participle, and plus the rest of the sentence. Number two, I had not been sleeping well for weeks before I saw the doctor. In this sentence, the subject is I, plus the first helping verb had, plus not, plus the second helping verb been, plus the main verb sleep, plus ing, or the present participle, and plus the rest of the sentence. To form questions with the past perfect continuous tense, we begin with the first helping verb had, plus the subject I, you, we, they, he, she, and it, plus the second helping verb been, plus the present participle or the main verb, plus ing, plus the rest of the sentence, then the question mark. Let's look at some examples. Number one, had you been studying before the exam? In this question, we begin with the first helping verb, had, plus the subject, you, plus the second helping verb, been, plus the present participle or the main verb, plus ing, studying, plus the rest of the sentence, then the question mark. Number two, have they been playing tennis all morning before it started raining? In this question, we begin with the first helping verb, had plus the subject, they, plus the second helping verb, been, plus the main verb, play, plus ing, or the present participle, plus the rest of the sentence, then the question mark. Now, let's look at the usages of the past perfect continuous tense. The past perfect continuous tense can be used to talk about an ongoing action in the past that continued up to another point in the past. 
and we use for or a duration to talk about how long the action was in progress. Let's look at some examples. Number one, I had been studying for three hours before I took a break. In this sentence, the first ongoing action is I had been studying, which is in the past perfect continuous tense. And the duration is for three hours. And the second ongoing action is I took a break, which is in the past simple tense. Number two, they had been waiting for the bus for 20 minutes before it finally arrived. In this sentence, the first ongoing action is they had been waiting, which is in the past perfect continuous tense. And the duration is for 20 minutes. And the second ongoing action is it finally arrived, which is in the past simple tense. Also, the past perfect continuous tense can be used to express cause and effect in the past. And we use because or so to show the cause and effect. Let's look at some examples. Number one, she was thirsty because she had been walking for hours. In this sentence, the effect is she was thirsty. And why was she thirsty? The cause is because she had been walking for hours. And number two, the pavement was wet because it had been raining. In this sentence, the effect is the pavement was wet. And why was the pavement wet? The cause is because it had been raining. I hope that you have learned or reviewed a lot in this video. Thank you so much for watching. And please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and become a member of Speak English with Joe. And not forgetting to like, comment, and share the video as well. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next video. Goodbye.